Hey guys, so today I took a different point of view for my video, as you can see. Um, not my typical kind of video, but I want to take you guys back in time to my childhood. Basically, um, right now I am in the woods next to my house. So yeah, um, as you can tell, I was pretty outdoorsy kind of person when I was younger. Um, and this is where I basically spent all of my childhood. So many memories here. Um, it's crazy. Um, I think that um, a lot of this stuff is very overgrown since I was last down here. Um, but yeah, so I went to you guys back in time when I was a child and show you everything I used to do and where I used to hang out and all the cool stuff down here. So what we're coming up to now is the creek by my house. I see it high tide, low tide, like up to my, literally up to the end of my street next to my house. Um, and this is where I spent a lot of days. Um, our parents really didn't like us down here because it was kind of like if we, um, right now, um, I'm pretty sure it's at low tide, it's pretty slow, but um, spent a lot of time down here, skipping rocks, swimming in there. It's actually pretty gross that I swam in here. But yeah, I can take you over to what I used to do. Um, here it is now. Um, we didn't really come down this area. I you see like a lot of this usually was water and stuff. What we did was we came down here to where these big rocks are and we sat here, hung out, the rocks. Uh, there's lots of stuff, so these aren't the rocks I was on. Um, these are more of the rocks that I was on. It's really low today. Usually this is all water, but I guess not today. So I'll take you guys onto the rocks where I spent. This rock is actually, I feel like it's shrunk. Oh my gosh. Um, this used to be the biggest rock. This used to be the biggest rock. Um, we had little rock wars. See that rock? I called that the stair rock because literally if you go like this and then walk, it's a stair. And then there used to be smaller lot things in the way, but you used to be able to jump onto that and then onto that rock. But that rock was the closest to the creek. And then that rock over there was higher up. Now I'm going to take you guys to... Um, where we had another fort, which was on Snake Island. Um, to get over there, we used to have to, oh gosh, go on these rocks, so walk over here, jump on this rock, and this rock, it's not wide. It looks like it's wide, but it's literally this ledge right here, and it's like really thin. So you'd walk over, and you'd jump onto that island. Um, yeah, so it was pretty intense. We didn't have this here at the time, but like when it was low creek, low, whoa low tide we'd have it, so basically jump over there, rock, rock, rock. I'm not actually going to go over fully over there because it's called Snake Island for a reason. There is a ton, crap ton of snakes over there and I don't need to be bit by one and I don't like snakes, so basically yeah. So then that tree over there, right there, if you can see it, that was where we had a fort. Um, the tree used to be a fallen tree, branches like this, and you'd be, be like covered it up with like wood and stuff. And we had a fort in there until I told you the her home hurricane high tide came and took a lot of this stuff away. So that's basically what's left of our fort. Like a beachy kind of area, what I call the beachy area, because it's um there was sand and there were shells in here. Um, let's see if I can find it. Here's one right here. If you can see, um, yeah. So basically, there's lots of sandy and beachy stuff. I don't really know how I got here. Um, so yeah. Okay. So the next point is this hill. This hill used to be the tallest thing ever. Um, a lot of it has grown in. Like this used to be part of the hill. This area. But due to the flooding and stuff, it's not that big anymore. So it's really not that big of a hill. I used to think as a child, you used to have to get a running start and run up this hill. 
but not anymore because clearly it's really not that bad anymore. Which is actually kind of sad. So basically, that's the hill. Not as big as it used to be. Um, also, these plants here and here used to not be there. Um, but yeah, as before, same thing happened. Um, next, we have this whole area. There used to be all types of different paths and stuff here. There still are some, but not as many as there used to be, and it's kind of sad. Um, my childhood, see my childhood basically non-existent anymore, kind of. Really upsetting. Also, there's like bare feet. Marks on the ground. Creeping me out. Okay. So, moving on. So, I want to show you guys more areas, but don't really want to go there by myself because I don't really trust it so I'm gonna probably stop around this area right here so basically further down there's um, a bridge that crosses over for the cars well, duh. Um, and then there's a pathway that we used to walk by and sometimes there's people sitting at the top of the bridge so that's what freaks me out and I, I'm by myself so I don't want to go back there and past that was a horse farm that we used to always go to horses are literally you could touch them but it was pretty cool um, yeah, it was pretty cool, but like, um, I was thinking there was people, um, started to live in the woods, so that's why we stopped going down there as much, because it was really creepy, and I was young at the time, so, basically, I'm a, kind of a scared cat, too. So, the next place I'm going to bring you guys is the paintball field, and this is closer to my house. Um, I probably won't do the walk show you how I get out of the woods because I don't need any stalkers or anything knowing where I live or following me or anything. I mean, some of the stuff might give away. Actually, I don't know if I'll give away or not, but I'm still not going to show you where I live because that's just, I don't need stalkers, as I said before. Go walk with me. So now we are coming up upon the paintball field. The um, reason why we call it the paintball field is because um, my friends used to play and other people used to play paintball there. Um, so basically this is it. Um, it's really grown over. Uh, they used to have walls and stuff and all these different things built for it. But um, as I said before, pretty much grown over and here it is. So basically, as you can see, it's just a giant field. Um, people still ride their quads and stuff and dirt bikes around in it, but not as much. Um, during the hurricane, a lot of these trees fell, and it was pretty scary because my house is really literally right up there, but I'm gonna show you. Um, it's it was pretty, pretty scary. Um, some of the ice came down here and cut down all the trees because um, there's a lot of sawdust on the ground, or not sawdust, whatever you call it. You can see them, there's a piece of tree right there. That's the paintball field, so there's basically a giant field. So yeah, um... So I hope you guys enjoyed my little video on my childhood and where I used to hang out. Actually, it wasn't really on my childhood, it's basically where I spent my summers. I literally spent all of my summers in these woods doing stuff. So, yeah, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and, um... <laughs> 
I would say I know what my videos are about, but honestly, I have no clue what they're about. And also, with my videos, I, yeah, I really just do whatever I feel like, and um, I don't really have an exact posting date. I guess it's just whenever I have enough time to get around editing my videos and then posting them. That's when I post them. I have a few I'm working on now. I need to stop and like work on one at a time, but I don't. So, see you guys later.